Hello. My car's airbag dash light is lit, letting me know that there is a problem. In this video, I will show you how I diagnosed and fixed the problem. Turning the key into the ignition, but not starting the car, all important warning dash lights come on. The airbag and belt pretensioners self-test for several seconds and the light should go out, indicating no fault in the system. Mine stays on. There is a problem. I will start with reading codes, without a scanner, to determine the next steps of repair. In order to do this, I must get access to the test socket. In this Volvo 940, it is located behind the ashtray. Memento mori. Ashes to ashes. Behind the ashtray, I have the fuse panel. One socket has only one contact and it is dedicated to airbag system testing. I take a piece of wire and plug it into the testing socket. The other end will be used to touch the ground in a specific sequence to do the test. Codes will be flashed by the dash warning light. To do the test, I turn the key into the ignition without starting the car. Wait at least 15 seconds. Touch the ground with the wire connected to the test socket for at least 2 seconds. While touching the ground, the light goes off and comes back after the connection is broken. Then the light comes back again, goes off and flashes the code. Five flashes and the light comes back solid. Five flashes indicate high resistance in the wiring or the airbag assembly. Probably there is no continuity in the wires or the airbag is a toast. Now I can try to clear the code and keep my fingers crossed this would be enough. But I already made several attempts to do it with no success. I must take it apart and investigate more. Just in case I disconnect the battery and wait about 30 minutes. To remove the airbag, I must undo two bolts from the back of the steering wheel. I remove the airbag and disconnect it from the system. In this case, I just pull it straight out. To proceed with more tests, I will use this test resistor. I made it myself, connecting in parallel three resistors to get 2.2 ohms. This resistor will substitute for the airbag resistance. Battery connected. And I do the test. Five flashes, but this is in the system memory. Let's clear this code from memory. I ground the cable three times. The light goes off for four seconds, comes back and should go off after three seconds. But it stays on. The problem persists. At this point, I can assume that the problem is with the wires, not with the airbag. Battery disconnected. Now I will remove the steering wheel. I will lock it and undo the bolt.
The bolt is out. Now I will straighten the wheel. Here inside the wheel there is a bolt to be used to lock the clock spring mechanism. I lock it in position with this bolt. Soon you will see why this step is important. I mark the position of the wheel with a marker to put it back in the same spot. Here I have an extra clock spring mechanism. Turning the steering wheel, electrical connection for the airbag is maintained by two spiral springs type connectors. If I remove the steering wheel without locking this mechanism, it would spin and I would lose the right position of the mechanism. But if it happens, I can determine how many turns the mechanism can make and then lock it halfway. I remove the test resistor and remove the steering wheel. Gently. The steering column shroud, two screws at the top, and two at the bottom. Removed. Wiper and blinker switches. The horn connector. The clock spring mechanism is out and I disconnect the connector. To gain access to the other connector, I had to remove the side panel of the central console. This connector here supplies power to the system and provides a communication connection. This connector provides power to deploy the airbag. This is the first connector behind the sensor. Nothing exploded here. It was all disassembled. Under the driver's seat, I have the crash sensor and power modules. This goes to the driver's airbag. There is none on the passenger side. This orange wire goes to the passenger seat belt pretensioner. The driver's seat belt pretensioner wire passes here. The car is equipped with two side airbags, but those are triggered mechanically to deploy. Now I plug my test resistor at the first connector. Battery. And I perform the test. Ignition. The light stays on. Once again I read the code.
Let's clear this code from memory. I ground the test wire three times. The light goes off for four seconds, comes back for three seconds, and it's gone. I cleared the code and now the system doesn't indicate any fault. So the problem is between this first connector and the airbag plug. Battery. Since there is a jumper in the unplugged connector, the same as in this clock spring mechanism connector, I can check continuity at the top connector. And I have continuity. I already checked the same way the continuity at the clock spring mechanism. It is OK. It looks like I have a bad connection somewhere. I use an electric contact cleaner on all connectors to improve connections. Now I plug in my test resistor at the steering wheel column and plug the connector at the side panel. Let's test the whole thing up to the airbag connector. Battery, ignition on, the light is on. The system goes through a self-check. And the light is off. No fault in the system thus far. Battery again. The horn connected. I put everything back together. the test resistor out and I put the steering wheel back on. The witness mark aligned. Thread locker The nut is only hand tight and I remove the locking bolt from the clock spring mechanism. There is a special storage spot for it in the wheel. Now I lock the wheel and supply 32 newton meters torque. I plug in the airbag. And assemble it on the wheel. Battery.
ignition, self-test running, passed. I start the engine. No warning dash light for the airbag. Life is good. Last touch. Ashes to ashes. Till next time.